Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well, you know, it's middle of October. And so today I wanted to give you an update on our party favor rose mallow hibiscus plants that I planted last fall. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So I'm here alongside these hibiscus bushes that I planted uh, last fall. And you know, one way you can save a lot of money is if you go to your home centers. Like my wife and I have a Lowe's near us and a Home Depot, and, or even an Ace Hardware store. You know, because it, they have end of season sales, you know, and we ended up getting these, these plants here. They're, they came in like one gallon containers some of them were even two gallon containers, but we got these for a couple dollars a piece, you know, and uh, they've really grown really well this summer. And I always encourage gardeners to plant flowers out in your garden. You know, they have a lot of beauty, a lot of color, a lot of grace. A lot. Of, they're also good for pollinators for, to bring in the bees to pollinate your your vegetables and your plants. And uh, but these have developed and grown really well during the season. They have a, a beautiful color to them. And so let's take a closer look at these beautiful plants that have done really well here in my soil. I had also planted another variety of hibiscus and it's called the Lord Baltimore. They have the real big red flowers on them. And uh, you know, being it's almost middle of August or October, I mean the, uh, you know, flower flowers are kind of dying back, you know. And so the Lord Baltimore flowers, they're no longer blooming right now. But, but anyhow, I did get a couple different varieties of hibiscus at the uh, home centers and again something I would really encourage you to think about doing is visiting those places so you can get some really good deals on flowers or perennials for your vegetable garden. But anyhow I just want to thank you for joining Bailey and I today out here in, in the vegetable gardens. a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's going to be a nice cool day here to, to work out in the garden. And so anyhow, I hope this video gave you some tips and ideas on how you can save money buying plants or flowers or perennials for your garden. And so if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And so I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.